Hello everyone, I'm Miss Davina. Welcome to Baby Story Time. And this is based on the Mother Goose on the Loose program. So we'll have lots of rhymes and songs and finger plays and a lot of repetition. Everything will be repeated at least two times. So it gives you lots of opportunity to learn the songs, learn the rhymes. We will have the uh, words up here, but they're not always easy to see from a distance. I'll try to remember to hold them up to the camera so that you can see them. And um, But they're just kind of a, a, a visual to help you remember what's next because we repeat these uh, rhymes and songs every week usually, and that's wonderful for reinforcing um, the repetition really helps your baby learn language and learn to recognize the sounds of letters and words and how they fit together. So um, settle in, have a seat on the floor, get comfortable, and this is really just a time to interact and have fun with your baby. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. Hello everybody and how are you? How are you? Hello everybody and how are you again hello everybody and how are you how are you hello everybody and how are you how are you today i'm so happy that you're here with me today and today's um we start out every time with Miss Old Mother Goose. So get ready to fly. And you can fly your arms as well as your baby's arms. Or you can just do this in front of them. Either way, just whatever is your baby is comfortable with. But remember, you can come back and try it again another time. And um, as they get to know what they're to expect, they get used to it and they're usually okay. So here we go. Old Mother Goose, when she wants to wander, would fly. On her very fine gander. Old Mother Goose, when she wants to wander, would fly away on her very fine gander. And remember when we go up or down or whatever, if, you're, if your baby will tolerate it, lift them up, lift them down, let them... Uh, get used to the difference and as they're going up they're learning that the word up means going up and they all put it together in their brains and it makes them understand the language even faster because it's being reinforced with the motion. So this is a bouncing rhyme. It's goosey goosey gander and remember you put them on your lap. You can bounce them if they're bigger and they want to stand in front of you let them jump but we go upstairs downstairs and in my ladies' chambers. And we'll do it two times. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my ladies' chambers. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs, downstairs, and in my ladies' chambers. And we have our two little monkeys. And what are they doing? They're bouncing, jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. And remember I said that babies at this age in this stage are fascinated by other baby faces and pictures. So this is called Amazing Feelings. And it's a really nice book because it lets, um, it's a visual of different feelings and emotions. And they do start to understand it. They learn by imitating your face. So they need to see your facial expressions to interact and to um, connect the emotion with the facial expression. That's so much a part of learning language. I have many feelings. Happy, sad, 
surprised, angry, silly. I use my body to show how I'm feeling. How am I feeling? He's happy, isn't he? He's happy. Look at her. <gasps> happy, yay. How am I feeling? Sad. You're sad because she's crying. Oh, sad. How am I feeling here? <gasps> Surprised. <gasps> How am I feeling? Make a face. Angry or angry. How's this little girl feeling? Can you do that? Uh, what is that? That's, I can turn the page. Silly, silly. So there's lots of different ways that we can know. We use our whole body, we use our face to tell people what we're feeling and what, what's going on, what our emotions are. And babies know this, they can sense it once they can tell by your body language, they can tell by your facial expressions. So it's really important for you to use your facial expressions and your body language when you talk to them and with them, not just at them. That's how they learn. They learn by imitation. So let's go ahead and we'll imitate. We'll do our fingers like to wiggle waggle. So get your fingers out wiggling. Ready? Fingers like to wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle. Fingers like to wiggle waggle way up high. Fingers like to wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle, wiggle waggle. Fingers like to wiggle waggle way down low. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle on my knees. Oh, I have ticklish knees. Where's your knees? Yeah. Again. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way up high. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, way down low. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Fingers like to wiggle, waggle on my knees. Oh, that's ticklish. I have very ticklish knees. So what are these? Oh, it's a train. What sound does a train make? Choo, choo. That's right. And trains go on things called tracks. So pretend your baby's legs and arms and all the way up are the tracks. So one little train went up the track. And when he gets to the top of the head, he goes toot, toot. And then they come back. And then the other side for the other train. Ready? Here we go. One little train went up the track. It went toot, toot. And then it came back. The other little train went up the track. It went toot, toot. And then it came back. Two little trains went up the track. They went toot, toot. And then they came back. Let's do that again. One little train went up the track. It went toot, toot, and then it came back. The other little train went up the track. It went toot, toot, and then it came back. Two little trains went up the track. They went toot, toot, and then they came back. And remember, this is a bouncing rhyme, the Grand Old Duke of York. And you won't be able to really see the words, but I'm um, put them there if you want to. And this is a very familiar rhyme. This is one of the favorites. 
And remember, as I tell you, it's a lot of times when they get older, you might want to sit on the couch with your knees up and bounce them up your legs instead of trying to lift them in the air. But whatever your baby tolerates at this stage, just remember when we go up, we go up. When we go down, we go down. And, and just the motions do, with the words help reinforce the learning of that language. And this starts out as a bouncing rhyme. If they're older and they want to jump, that's fine too. The Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them all the way up the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Let's do it again. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them all the way up the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Yes, excellent. How are those arm muscles getting? I know, you don't need a workout at the gym with that, do you? So the next segment is rum, pum, pum. And remember, you can go ahead and get out Whatever you want to use for them to tap on at home, it will work. You don't have to have a drum, but a lot of, they're really easy to get. So here we go. Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. My name is Davina. Three beats in my name, three syllables. So there's three beats in my name. And if you wanna march around the room while you're doing the rum pum pum, that's completely fine too. It's a lot of fun to move around. So if your child wants to march around the room while you're doing rum pum pum, by all means, go right ahead and do it. So ready, here we go. Rum pum pum, this is my drum. Rum pum pum, this is my drum. My name is Davina. What's your name? And remember, if you need to hand over hand, have them tap on the drum. Michael. Hi, Michael. So you would say, my name is Michael. And I would say, hi, Michael. How many beats are in your name? Michael. Two syllables, two beats. And you can do that as many times as you want. And believe me, they will get to know. And it helps them understand the sound of their name, how many uh, syllables are in their name. And this all goes right along with early literacy and um, learning the way their words sound. And one of the most important words they need to know is their name. So we're going to go ahead and get our instruments out. And it can be any instrument. It can be whatever you want to use at home. It doesn't have to be a bell or a rattle. We're going to sing bells and rattles, but any instrument will work. Drums, tambourines, maracas, shaker eggs, um, a stick and a lid. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're comfortable with. Uh... We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together because it's fun to do. We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together. We play our instruments together because it's fun to do. We play them up high. We play them down low. We play them in the middle. We play them just so, we play them up high, we play them down low, we play them in the middle, we play them just so, we play our instruments together, we play our instruments together, we play our instruments together because it's fun to do, yay, and moms and dads and special grown-ups, you should be playing the instrument too. And you, your baby needs to see you having fun and they need to be able to imitate you, especially in the early stages when they can't quite hold the instrument or all they're doing is chewing on it. 
believe me, you playing along with them is so important to their de development. So this song is Ring Your Bells, and we'll do Ring Your Bells, and then we'll sing Shake Your Rattle, and it goes to the tune of Jingle Bells. Ring your bells, ring your bells, ring your bells today. Oh, what fun it is to ring, to ring your bells today. Ring your bells, ring your bells, ring your bells today. Oh, what fun it is to ring, to ring your bells today. Shake your rattle. Shake your rattle, shake your rattle, shake your rattle today. Oh, what fun it is to shake, to shake your rattle today. Shake your rattle, shake your rattle, shake your rattle today. Oh, what fun it is to shake, to shake your rattle today. You could also say beat your drum or pound your drum. That works too. And our next one we have is Grandfather Clock. And I dropped my clock. I won't pick it up right now. But Grandfather Clock goes tick tock. And remember, this is a good one for learning how to start slow, get really fast, and stop all of a sudden. So good for listening and following directions and self-regulation and modula modulation. So this is a really fun one, but it's, it teaches lots of fun skills too. Lots of important skills. So grandfather clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Mother's kitchen clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Brother's little watch goes tick 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 tock. Ooh, you almost got it. Let's do it again. Grandfather clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Mother's kitchen clock goes tick tock, tick tock, tick. Talk, tick tock, brother's little watch goes tick 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 Good job. Yes, you're getting really good at that. And then we have what songs next? Do you guys know? Do you remember? Ten little Indians. And we're gonna count as and sing. We're gonna count up and then count back down. And Miss Davina will count on her left hand because I can't shake my rattle and count opposite. Just because I'm not that talented. So ready? Here we go. One little, two little, three little Indians. Four little, five little, six little Indians. Seven little, eight little, nine little Indians. Ten little Indian boys and girls. Ten little, nine little, eight, eight little Indians. Seven little, six little, five little Indians. Four little, three little, two little Indians. One little Indian girl. I messed that up. Let's do it again. Ready? One little, two little, three little Indians. Four little, five little, six little Indians. Seven little, eight little, nine little Indians. Ten little Indian boys and girls. Ten little, nine little, eight little Indians. Seven little, six little, five little Indians. Four little, three little, two little Indians. One little Indian girl. Good job. That was excellent. Now we're going to do our shh. And we're going to shake our instruments or pound our drums or jingle our bells or whatever instrument you have. We're gonna do it as hard and as fast as we can and then we're gonna go shh. Ready? Oh, no. There you go. Good job. That 
That was excellent. So now it's time to put our instruments away. Instruments away, instruments away. It's time to put our instruments away. Instruments away, instruments away. It's time to put our instruments away. It's okay, because it's time to get out our scarves. And we have our scarves. And remember at home, you don't have to have an actual scarf or one of these thin ones. It can be any kind of scarf, a piece of fabric, a towel, a, a hanky. Scarves are just nice because they're lightweight and they're see-through. And sometimes with babies, if they can't see you through it, even though you're pretending, they still think you disappeared. So it, it might make them anxious and, and they might be afraid. So a scarf is a really good way to do this. Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say, what are we going to play today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say, what are we going to play today? Window, window, wind, I say, why are you blowing my scarves away? Window, window, wind, I say, why are you blowing my scarves away? Ready? Whoa! One more time. Fun! Oh, that's so much fun to see your scarf blow away. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do our peekaboo song. And peekaboo is one of a baby's favorite games to play right now. They love to play peekaboo. And with a scarf, it's really fun because you don't really disappear, even though they might think you do. And this goes to the tune of Are You Sleeping? Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you, I see your button nose, I see your tiny toes, I see you, peek-a-boo. Let's do it again. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, I see you, I see you. I see your button nose. Where's your nose? I see your tiny toes. I see you. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I see you. Peekaboo. I see your tiny toes. <gasps> Peekaboo. Oh, there's your nose. Where's your nose? Peekaboo. I see you. Good job. I see you. Let's do our wheels on the bus. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town the horn on the bus goes beep 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 the horn on the bus goes beep 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 all through the town the doors on the bus go open and shut open and shut open and shut the doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town the driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The windows on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The windows on the bus go up and down, all through the town. The children on the bus go, wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. The children on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. The mommies on the bus go shh, 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 shh. The mommies on the bus go shh, 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 all through the town. Are you happy? We see your smiling faces. Yeah. 
yes, if you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf, yay. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf, whoosh, whoosh. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf, whoosh, whoosh. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave your scarf, whoosh, whoosh. If you're happy and you know it, twirl your scarf, whoa. If you're happy and you know it, twirl your scarf, whoa. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, twirl your scarf. Whoa! Happy! Yes, happy! So we're going to put our scarves up high. Put your scarves up high. Put your scarves down low. Put your scarves in the middle and wiggle them just so. Put your scarves in the front. Put your scarves in the back. Put your scarves on your tummy and clap, clap, clap. Put your scarves up high. Put your scarves down low. Put your scarves in the middle and wiggle them just so. Put your scarves in the front. Put your scarves in the back. Put your scarves on your tummy and clap, clap, clap. And so now it's time to put our scarves away. And it's okay. We're going to sing our lullaby. So remember, if you're able to, hold your baby, sit, sit quietly, kind of gently rock back and forth. And any song can be a lullaby. The one we're singing is um, You Are My Sunshine. And I, remember, I changed the words. So it's, you'll always know, dear, how much I love you. And I want my sunshine to stay. And we'll sing it through two times. And we'll go like this. And if you want to close your eyes, that's fine. So just rock gently and calmly. And remember, sing softly and quietly. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll always know, dear, how much I love you. And I want my sunshine to stay. We'll sing it one more time, even softer. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll always know, dear, how much I love you. And I want my sunshine to stay and if you need to sing it again that's fine too we're just doing it through two times you can sing it as many times as you want so now it's time for our Humpty Dumpty rhyme and remember to at home that you say their name and give them a big hello a big hand clap and a great job when they're done um, at first, you may need to hand over hand, but believe me, they start to reach on their own very quickly. Some of the youngest babies will try to reach. They may not be able to grasp it, but you can help them. They know what's coming, and they really love and anticipate it. So ready? Here we go. Miss Davina will go first, and then you can go. And each week, I'm going to pick a different name to say. So today, ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great... All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay, Miss Davina! Okay, now, John, it's your turn. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay, John, or whatever your name is. And this time we'll do it one more time and I won't say a name and you can put your name in there. Ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. 
Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yay! That was so good. Thank you. That was excellent. Thank you for helping Miss Davina with our rhyme. Now we're going to sing our goodbye song because that concludes our baby story time for today. So remember, we wave goodbye like this or like this. Most babies start with this though. So here we go. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye to all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We clap our hands like this. Yay! Goodbye.